Hey, what's up guys? Good afternoon. We are here with another VBWX video and we've got some big goodies coming to the channel in the next video, but we are going to be wrapping up the intake install. If you guys didn't see the intake install video, we have the air box to go around from parent performance. That's going to keep all that heat from the engine bay around the intake. So let's unbox that. Let's get that thrown on the car and then we'll do a few driving clips and then we have you guys leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think that is. So shout out to Parent Performance. They're going to be partnering with me at JDM Right Hand Drive on my YouTube channel to promote these new products for the VBWX platform. You guys hit the thumbs up and uh, thanks to Parent for allowing me to get early access to this product to show you guys this and share it with the channel. So quality looks really nice and I'm very excited. The powder coat on this is very good. So it's gonna match perfectly with my charge pipe that I've got on the car already. And it's gonna be kind of hidden and look good in the engine bay with the stock air snorkel, which will slide into there. So everything's gonna be black and kind of look OEM plus. So let's go pop the hood and let's get this thrown in the car. I still got all my hardware from when I installed the intake. I'll have the uh, intake video and the charge pipe video and the tag up above as well as in the description down below. This is also a good time to put a plug in for today's sponsor, which is Top Don. If you guys haven't entered into the contest, there will be a giveaway going May 3rd on the channel for the jump starter, portable jump starter system for your car. All you have to do to be eligible and entered to win is to be a subscriber to the channel. Leave me a comment down below and hit the thumbs up and the winner will be announced on my channel May 3rd. Good luck guys. So we're gonna be putting the air box around the parent intake here. So this will match really good with the parent charge pipe with the wrinkle black. All right, so now that that's set in here, let's kind of get a peek of what it's gonna look like. So just right against the frame rail here, there's a couple of bolts from the original air box that, or intake that you're gonna put on. And then we're gonna remove this 10 mil right there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can drop the cold air snorkel in and this install's done. So this manual comes in the box, guys, and it comes with all the hardware and everything and the actual parent license plate. So if you guys wanna get a little parent bling on your car, you could do that. And then if you guys wanna order this, um, the coupon code SAVE15 for 15% off. Go ahead and do that when you uh, check out and you get a 15% discount. So we're gonna grab the spacer and the hardware to go ahead and get this system mounted into the car. So this is gonna be your long Allen bolt with washer and spacer to mount the bracket in the back. And then these are for the bottom. So let's go ahead and get the spacer inserted here. So you can use the OEM hardware if you like, which I decided to, or you can use the parent supplied hardware in the box. So I'm very excited guys, take a look at it, it looks fantastic. It's gonna bring in the air from the cold air from the snorkel here, right to the intake filter. It's gonna shield everything away from all the heat in the engine bay to get that colder air into the engine and get you more horsepower. So very excited with how it looks, fitment was spot on. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I really like the look of everything being black and kind of having that OEM look with the black charge pipe, black OEM snorkel, black parent, cold air intake heat shield 
and I just think that that is a nice look. I mean, they do have them in red and yellow or whatever, pink, whatever you want to do to be aggressive. But for me, I think this is a mature and OEM Plus look, which I like. So after installing the intake, I do notice a pretty big difference in the torque, and the car does pull a little bit harder up top. Uh, probably would want to go ahead and get a tune to maximize the output of the intake, although Parent does not require a tune because their intake um, tubing is the exact same size as factory. So it's not messing with your air fuel ratio values at all. And I'm running the Noble single exit titanium catback exhaust in my car. I think I'm going to keep the stock J-pipe for now just because I don't want to spend another $1,300 for the ETS one. And so I think after we install this next item, you guys leave me a comment down below, what do you think it is? We will get a tune from Drunk Man Tuning and go E30 blend and just run this car as it is. Get some coilover suspension kit set up later on with our new sticky track tires and Cook RS4s. Volk CE28s and I think that'll be it for this season for me because I need to finish my R32 GTR. I've got to order a bunch of stuff. PRP block brace, PRP spline drive oil pump just to get the machining done and I got a, a lot of expenses that's going to be coming with that so I got to put the S or I got to put the, uh, the WRX content on hold for a while and just uh, go to shows, go to events and just be part of the community and stop buying parts and modding because that's expensive as you guys know. So I ordered the intake and the heat shield together about three weeks ago. The heat shield was on back order so after running the intake by itself for the first couple weeks I did notice a big difference in torque on the bottom end but on the top end I kind of felt like it wasn't uh, pulling as hard as it should after installing the heat shield and getting that cold air coming in from the snorkel I immediately noticed way more top end on the first pull with having that heat chill to keep the engine heat away from the intake and uh, get colder air through the intercooler. It's just a, a better system so I'd recommend getting both if you guys are going to do it. guys leave me a comment down below go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you like this type of content and subscribe to the channel we are on our way to 10k that's a big goal for me 10,000 subs and we are like 750 subs away from it so thanks for your help guys thanks for the support so I've already installed the Perrin license plate cover from the last time I installed the intake if you guys want this extra one go ahead and drop me a comment down below first person to comment i'll ship it out to you guys for free for you gtr boys i've got boxes of parts from japan from tomei top secret all kinds of goodies i've got a uh what is it a super tech racing oil pan sump extension for the r32 rv26 so i've got to unbox all that stuff and give you guys a channel update i've just been kind of busy with work and family life funding all these builds. I just haven't even had time to even do unboxing videos, unfortunately. Hello. Well, let's check our dinner. Let's wrap up today's video. Day after working out in the hot sun, 
Look at that big, juicy, fat, beefy, thick goodness. Yummy. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. We're gonna wrap up today's video with watching a little Spider-Man family night before I go in to the office and edit and uh, get this wrapped up. You wanna say hi to the channel? Hi. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Make sure you guys leave some comments, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, hit to the end, hashtag to the end. That way I know if you guys like this type of stuff and I'll do more of it in the future. Or if you guys just want straight car vlogs and parts, I could do that too. It is late, it is uh, past midnight, it's 12.39. I've been here editing for the last four hours to get this done for you guys. But I will see you guys back in the morning. I'll be out in the garage uh, pulling the WRX in to do the next project. See you then.